Hey, what is going on guys? It is Jaco back again with another GTA Online modding video. Today, I'm going to be going over 8 things that modders do when they're bored in GTA Online. Now, since the Epic Games has given everyone the game for free and anyone can use a free mod menu, or if you have been using paid mod menus for a while like I have, you might be able or might try and do some of these things when you're bored in GTA Online. Don't get me wrong, doing the grinding and the mindless, mindless activities for hours and hours on end is a lot of fun too, if you can tell by the sarcasm of my voice, but some of these things you might find some pretty fun with, and you know, you might try it out when you're bored instead of grinding or something like that. If you guys do go on and enjoy today's video, please remember to drop a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I would also like to thank you guys so much for 3,000 subscribers. I haven't really given a proper thank you, but uh, thank you. The sport lately has been nuts. Alrighty, so one of the number of things I do modding when I'm bored in GTA Online is I really like to customize vehicles. Now, you guys see me do the spending sprees every once in a while, and when I'm doing those spending sprees, I really like to customize the vehicles and do I do most of that stuff while recording, and you know, I put it in the videos as well. Uh, but another thing that modders can do and have the access to is to mod different types of things onto the cars, like vehicle ramps, sport mode. You guys know what sport mode is by now. Add different kinds of lights, you know, add different kind of modded vehicles into the game, which I find a lot of fun, especially with the mod menu. You can make all your cars invincible and that kind of stuff. And it could be a lot of fun seeing what you can come out with, um, you know, just modding your vehicles and customizing them as well. Because I don't really spend a lot of money when I play the game legitimately. I play on PS4 legitimately. I have over like 100 and some days on that. Uh, so yeah, I've been through the grind and, you know, I've earned all this hard earned cash and, you know, sometimes I don't like to spend it on supercars and stuff that's just going to get blown up by an oppressor. So what I do is on PC, I'll just get myself some money, customize my own car and mod it out with some mods as well. And it's a lot of fun. Another thing, especially now that you can do, is since there is a lot, a lot of noobs coming around in GTA Online, you can protect them from tryhards and modders, um, you know, instead of just watching them get beaten to a pulp in the middle of an online session, because there's still modders and tryhards running around, especially on PC, the servers have been so, so whack and so, like, Ugh, just so terrible lately that even I have been having trouble getting online. It's been difficult recording some videos, but you know we're still we're still on our daily grind most of, mostly. But yeah, defending a noob or you know some other kind of guy maybe doing supplies you know from a modder or griefer uh, can you know can put a little fuzzy feeling in your part. You know, feel really good about yourself. Something that ties in with this as well is helping others do supply missions or just missions in general. Um, you know, some people need help with sell missions all the time, so you could just hop in their little CEO or motorcycle club, teleport their um, sell vehicles into the objective, and uh, you know, it could, you could be a really big help, and you know, make that other guy or girl's day <laughs> that you're helping out because there are a ton of modders and a ton of griefers out nowadays, and if you just help them get that cell mission done that they've been stressing out about if there's four vehicles and you have to do it in 15 minutes you know you can help them out and do those uh really quickly and you can also have a lot of fun too um i find when i do missions and i have rapid fire and i have unlimited ammo and all that kind of stuff on and some other weapon mods i can have a lot of fun uh just doing missions in general with god mode and you know just all that sort of stuff it makes it a lot more fun and a lot more interesting another big thing i really like doing modding in gta online we're on number four now is to make modded outfits you guys have seen from probably some of my thumbnails mostly could have been the reason why you clicked on today's video is um i really like to mess around with modded outfits i like to add the duffel bag some cool body armor some stuff that for some reason rockstar leaves out and doesn't let us do you can become a swat officer and add some like cop uniform onto any one of your outfits and it makes it a lot more fun and maybe you can like role play with that kind of outfit and uh yeah it just makes for a lot more fun and you know you can make your guy look really really freaking cool especially with all the mod options you can make any color bulletproof helmet and that kind of stuff you have a lot more options when making a sort of a uh, modded outfit especially with a good mod menu one of my favorite things coming in at number five is I really love to do missions. Whether it's helping others or not, I really like to do missions and just have God mode on 
and you know just have unlimited ammo and all that kind of stuff use any weapon in the game i want because any weapon will be really really good and i can get them done really fast and really easily and it could be a lot of fun especially with some friends i'll also do some heists and see how much money i could possibly get and see how fast we can you know get all the money from the vault room you guys saw from a few videos ago that i i played with some randoms and we had a lot of fun um you know doing some setups and stuff like that and it, it just makes for a lot of fun because you're just not only doing the missions that you have to do anyways but you're passing the time with a good old fun mob menu and with some fun weapon options and possibly a cool modded outfit as well as a fun modded vehicle that you may or may not have customized with or without mobs all right here we're coming down to the top three things that modders like myself love to do in gta online when they're bored and uh probably one of the most satisfying things that i find out of modding is before um i used to not have a lot of money on my modded accounts because i was really scared of getting banned but now i add money and i have added rp and i've added around 200 million dollars and i've only added like 200 some levels which um i found has been a lot of fun and it's just really satisfying to see you know an extra 100 mil or 200 mil in your bank account and you can make yourself whatever level you want with a menu like impulse vip a really good paid menu um you know i've seen people bank themselves level 8,000, and they're still not banned to this day, add billions of dollars, which I wouldn't suggest adding billions of dollars, but still adding a couple hundred million dollars here and there can be really satisfying, a lot of fun, you can go and spend that and invest in some businesses, and so you're making that passive income um, on top of your modded income already, which uh, can be really cool and really fun as well. On top of adding the money and the RP, you also get to, you know, not go through the grind. If you're a person like myself who's played on console for pretty much seven years straight now, and you just went over to PC, you know, looking for a fun time, um, you know, you can get a really fun time with some mods, uh, let me tell you. Um, especially skipping that whole grind phase and not having to worry about that. I, like I said before earlier in the video, I've, I've played on hundreds and hundreds of days legitimately on PlayStation 4 and Xbox 360 and all that. Trust me, I've been through the grind. I know how much of a pain in the ass it is. There's modders and griefers and all that. But, I mean, today's about fun. <laughs> today's about fun. So, I'm going to be telling you guys how to have fun with a mob menu, whether you have a mob menu or not, actually. So, this one is a big 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 gimme as if you guys are um, not new to the channel if you guys have been around for even a couple days you guys know that i love trolling with mob menu especially impulse vip i've almost made a hundred modern lives and most of them have been trolling with some trolling videos before and a little bit after that as well and i've had a lot of fun uh trolling especially with the trolling options with impulse vip i can do a lot of fun stuff to other players and i also like you know just to role play and just to get in the game chat and you know see and hear people's reactions through text or you know game chat or whatever it's been a lot of fun to troll and you know i do my little griefs here and there um but usually they're by accident now. I used to do them a lot more, but I realize how scummy that is, and I don't really do them anymore at all. I'd like to clarify, you know, trolling never has to be harmful. It can always be harmless, you know, stopping someone's car, maybe when they're not even doing a mission at all, just to see their reaction or shooting them with a stun gun, um, watch them flop on the ground for a little while. It's a lot of fun, as you guys can see um, from my Modern Life series. You know, we've had a lot of fun with trolling, and you guys have really, really enjoyed it as well. Or, you know, hopping in Discord, doing some heists with some guys. And, uh, you know, I did that a few days ago, and it was a lot of fun fun let me tell you and uh, I really enjoyed it and so did a lot of you guys as well Alrighty, coming in at number one for me the most fun that I've had using the mom menu is through role-playing whether I've been a police officer or you know been a homeless man or done any sort of the stuff that you know your mind could imagine um you know with the mod menu you have a lot more options through animations and different vehicles that you can use if you want to be a golfer for a day you can give yourself a golf cart not the you know golf carts don't spawn because they do spawn but i'm just saying like you know you can get a cop car pretend to be a cop turn on never wanted um give yourself just a handgun and a shotgun and you can have a lot of fun role playing with your friends because you like i said you have a lot of anim animations and options that you can use that you wouldn't normally have in gta online for your favor 
And you guys might be asking, you know, Jacob, why don't you just go on 5M and role play? That's a great way to, that's also a great way to, you know, do your role playing because that's technically is a mod and you're joining a server um, through the GTA 5 framework. So, I mean, yeah, technically, yeah, that's definitely a mod that people would use when they're bored or a modder would use when they're bored is go on 5M and role play. I haven't really done much of that. I find that, you know, just kind of, kind of annoying, kind of tedious, a lot of the stuff that I've gone through role playing i haven't really found to be working too well and i really like to mod and stuff in gt online i found it the most fun doing my trolling and all this other stuff with other players i find to be a lot of fun and that's why the model life series has been a lot of fun doing funny moments and stuff like that but anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching today's video the top eight things that modders do when they're bored i mean technically you don't have to be a modder to do some of these things but doing these things modded uh may or may not have you a little bit more satisfied personally i think modding and doing these things will make it a lot more fun especially modding and customizing vehicles you know making modded outfits is really fun too uh, you can make glitch outfits legitimately but you know making them modded it just makes it a little bit more fun now uh yeah like i said before hopefully you guys did enjoy please remember to drop a like subscribe turn on post notifications and i'll see you guys in the next one if the servers in gt online are working because usually they 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 haven't they haven't been recently and it's been difficult but but yeah peace